Welcome back. So today I'm going to show you how to go about making this sort of bookshelf or this display shelf. It's a, it's a lesson in repeatability, accuracy, uh, mechanization. Well, so there's three tools you need. You need a router, you need a chop saw, and you need a, and you need a, circ a circular saw. I hope you enjoy the video. If you subscribe, you're going to see a lot of different aspects of, of woodworking. I and mean, maybe you, you just enjoy watching woodworking, I don't know. I'm going to show you how to, how to rip down long lengths of MDF. Do a drawing of, of what you're actually trying to do. Get the, get the guide. So we've got all the we've got all the long lengths. We've got all we've got them all cut down to the width of 150 mil. So the next job is that I'm going to cut all of these shelves at 280. Uh, so they're all identical. Uh, so so it's crying out for setting up the the chop saw. Right, so I've cut all the bits to something about two two hours. I have got about thirty little little shelves. I want to house them into these. We've got 30, 30 shelves. I got about sixty housings to to um, cut. If I had to set those all up individually, it would take me forever. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a, a jig. Each shelf has a, pa a paired housing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make my jig do two pairs, two, a, two housings at the same time. So it'll save me time, but it will also mean that, that when I actually put them back together again, they'll be in the same place. Let me show you how this works. Right, we've got a moving, a sliding and moving uh, side is a square side, so I can place that against a uh, something I want to cut a housing against. Run it along this edge and then I switch over and I run it along this edge and then that will cut me a repeatable, a repeatable housing. And the way I set the thickness, get it square, just pop that in there. Just check it on this one. Just get square all the way along. So just did one. So you, what you've got to be careful of is not to set this too tight, otherwise you'll never get your never get your housing in, or you'll never get your, your timber in. Right, I'm going to make another jig, but this time it's a 300 spacing to get the centre right.
three. As you can see, I've got all the housings in. They all match and correspond to each other. So I'm just going to cut cut them down to length. Um, didn't take too long. Quite pleased. And well, we'll see what it looks like when uh, <laughs> when I start putting it together. The reason I've glued it into two into two halves is that I wouldn't be able to get it up the stairs. Uh, with with fiberboard, if you put a screw into the into the end grain or something like that close to the edge, it will split. So, because this has got a housing, that should help prevent it. But I just want to check uh, and drill. And obviously, if you want to try and prevent splitting out, then hit use a um, use a pilot hole and a pilot drill. So let's let's drill that anyway. See what happens. So. Shouldn't it from the back? It's very, very soft, but you know, it's not really doing anything. Uh, what's that? That's about right. So let's have a look. Pop this in there. Pulls in quite nicely as well. This is how you can how you can make um, how you can use housing joints to 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 build something build something quite substantial with very simple tools just with a router a jig circular saw uh, and a few hand tools and you can you know for for the price of a sheet of MDF you can come up with something quite impressive so it's just as you know you're only limited by your imagination um, if you like these videos if you're learning something from from these videos then there's going to be loads more and there's going to be loads more things that you can learn so if you if you if you want to learn more about woodworking and, and how i do things then uh, subscribe to the channel right thanks very much cheers bye